to news. Congress will start to date the fiscal 16 interior spending bill this week. Channel 2 Washington correspondent Matt Kay reports. And am I Congressman Greg Khalili Sablon wants changes. Sablon is still deciding whether he'll try to amend the bill, but there are key areas he thinks need improvement. Technical assistance is one. Sablon's office says more help is needed, especially in key areas like health care and the military buildup. The president requested more than $24 million in technical help in February, up from the current $9.7 million. Technical aid has gone to help with CHC recertification and the Commonwealth's hiring of a consultant to review DOD's buildup environmental impact assessment. Interior's Office of Insular Affairs has provided some 250000 for the review, a key example of the importance of the aid. But Sablon feels technical assistance has fallen short of local needs. Covenant aid for CNMI construction projects continues to be funded at mandatory levels, but on another front, compact impact aid to handle FAS migrants' education, health, and other needs, appropriators said no to cuts. The islands would lose almost $1.7 million in total discretionary compact aid under the president's request. Appropriators restored the cuts under prodding from Sablon and Guam's Madeleine Bordalio, approving level funding of three million, but mandatory funding would remain unchanged. The NMI would still receive just over 2.3 million in mandatory compact aid. The NMI, Guam, Hawaii, and American Samoa receive 30 million in total compact aid each year. Compact assistance has been a sore point for years for the islands, whose governments argue they've been shortchanged hundreds of millions over decades. The president also wants 7 million for climate change mitigation in the islands, another bone of contention. Guam leaders, including Congress Woman Bordalio argue the White House and Interior are wrong to make climate change a priority over such a long-running island need as compact aid. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for KSPN, Channel 2 News.